In my new book, How to Register, Release, and Promote Your Music, I break down the music business to its simplest form. I am teaching all music business professionals how to make money in the music business and how to avoid getting taken advantage of. So click the link in the description right now and get a copy of my book and stay tuned for this video. All right, what to do YouTube family? It's your girl, I go by Neek, and I am back with another video. And today we're gonna talk about the success of Nicki Minaj's new album, okay? And we're gonna also talk about how you, as an independent artist, can create this type of success for yourself. So as you guys know, Nicki Minaj's album went gold in 24 hours and i am going to tell you in this video how you can create this same type of accomplishment for your own personal release strategy because that's all it is guys it's just a release strategy is nothing that she did or didn't do that created this type of momentum for the album it is a release strategy and i am going to break it down to you guys today how you can do it so before i get this video started man make sure you subscribe to my channel right now hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time i upload new content and give this video a like if you like this video because i guarantee you this information is going to be very lucrative to a lot of you guys so Let's start with looking up Nicki Minaj's new album. I actually went and listened to the album, and I will say I am thoroughly impressed by Nicki Minaj because I personally feel like she has been falling off for the last couple of years, but the music on the album is very, very good. But we're going to talk about how she went gold and how you can do the same thing. So... Two things Nicki Minaj did in 2023 that helped push her album to gold. The first thing was releasing a single called Red Ruby The Sleeves. I know you guys remember when the single came out, it did numbers. So let's see exactly how much the single did. Because I personally don't know. So let's see. Red Ruby The Sleeves streaming. So it never peaked number one. It went number five on rhythm. So they never really tell you like the numbers and stuff. Like unless you're subscribed to Billboard actual charts, you are not going to know the numbers of a strip. You're not going to know like the sales. Uh, so let's talk about the other song because you do have another song on it. It's called Super Freaky Girl. So she dropped... River with the sleeves, and then she dropped Super Freaky Girl in 2023. All right, so it says that Super Freaky Girl surpassed a hundred million streams, right? And it doesn't even look like she released Super Freaky Girl in 2023, she actually released it in 2022. So, boom, she put that song on her uh single. I mean, her album, I apologize. And then let's see, how many streams does Nicki Minaj... Uh, let's let's do Red Ruby the Sleeve. All right. So globally, it has 33 million streams. So every 1,500 streams, according to the RIAA, is one sale so she put both of these songs again red ruby the sleeves and then also the uh super freaky girl she put both of those songs on her album those songs already by themselves are super popular tons and tons of streams when you take two songs that you've released as a single and you put them on your album, all of the streams from that song or those songs apply to your album. The way that you get these streams to apply to your album is by going to your distributor and getting the information for those songs and re-releasing it. So let me show you guys how to do this. 
I have a single that's out right now. It's called The Plug, right? Now, I'm going to go to, uh, what is it? Spotify. I'm going to show you guys how many streams that song has. So, currently, The Plug has 17,000 streams, okay? I want to put that song on my album, uh, and I also want to put this song. So now I have 17,000 plus 20,000. That's about 37,000 streams. Okay? So between this 37,000 streams with these two songs, if I take the UPC code from the singles and I apply those same UPC codes to my album, the first day that my album is released it's already gonna have 37,000 streams let me show you exactly how you're gonna do that so the first thing you want to do is come to your distributor and upload get your album ready to upload so obviously an album you know or EP it doesn't have to be an album it could be EP I'm actually dropping the EP so you know, I'm actually dropping the whole album, but the EP is coming out and I got like five songs on the EP. So bump, I'm going to put the five songs and this is something that you guys have to pay attention to when you are uploading your music. It doesn't matter what distributor you're using, DistroKid, TuneCore, Lander, they're all going to ask you the same thing. And the question that they ask you is, let me scroll down to it till I find it. Let's find it. Let's find it. Hold on, y'all. Just bear with me while I find it. Oh, here it is. So, when you go to upload this song, it's going to ask you, already have an ISRC code? Question mark. Sometimes it's going to say, do you have an ISRC code? When you are attempting to apply the streams from the single to your album, you always want to remember that you do have an ISRC code already. So now what I want to do is I want to go to my distributor. So I'm going to go back to DistroKid just so I can pull up two screens. And I'm going to go to my single, The Plug. And I am going to copy my ISRC code and put it on my album. Now, when I distribute my album, every song that has been previously released that I put on that album, all of the streams are going to apply to that. And that, my friends, is how you can make the streams for your album look astronomical first week. This is a secret that a lot of artists has been, have been doing for years and years and years because the more the numbers look, the better the numbers look, the more people want to go actually listen. Now, don't get me wrong. People still went and listened to Nikki's album because she's going to sell 100,000, 40, 50,000, whatever, the first week because it is Nicki Minaj. But as you guys can see, album sales are down. And this is not just for Nicki. This is for major artists. Album sales are down. Artists are doing 30,000 when back in the day they would do a million. So what happens is you need to come up with different strategies to get and position yourself. And this, my friends, is a strategy that you can use to position your album and use it as a marketing strategy. So hopefully this video don't, go, don't get flagged by labels because I'm giving y'all some real game. But make sure you like this video right now. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload new content. Because I'm trying to help you get paid, not played, baby. And just know, when my album drop, I'm going to have... 100,000 streams on it. <laughs> Calling all my producers. Click that link in the description right now and get yourself signed up with Lander Studio. I'm going to give you my top five reasons for why you should sign up. First, they already have hundreds, thousands of pre-cleared samples, all types of genres of music for you producers to use. The second reason why you guys should get yourself signed up on Lander Studio is once you make the music and it's time to edit, you can get hundreds of plugins right here in Lander Studio. The next reason why you guys should sign up for Lander Studio is they offer 
right in-house mastering using their top quality AI software. Fourth reason you should be on Lander Studio is they are also offering distribution. You can distribute your music right in Lander Studio. And then the fifth and final reason why you guys should be on Lander Studio you can collab right here in Lander Studio with other artists, other producers. Make sure you guys head over to Lander Studio right now.